Hi, I'm Kate from Sew Craft Cook. Today I'm going to show beginners and children how to use a sewing machine for the very first time. How to do a normal straight stitch, how to increase the speed, and how to pop out your pins on the way through. Go. In this how-to, I'm going to show a beginner or a child how to use a sewing machine. The first thing you need to know is that when you pop your fabric in, you need to use the presser foot on the edge of your fabric. That will keep you about a quarter of an inch or roughly a centimetre away from the edge of your fabric, which is a good distance so that it doesn't come undone again. The other thing you really need to remember is that the presser foot must be down. So this is when it's up. I can get my finger caught under here, but the worst part is my fabric wobbles around. So I keep my presser foot down and that secures my fabric. So unless your presser foot's down, you can't sew. So use your lever up or down to secure it or to let it go. So we've got our pins poked in sideways, and as we're right near the start of our fabric, we'll need to remove that first pin because it won't be too long until we actually sew over the top of it. So we take that out. Here's my speed control. We're just going to keep it on slow when we first start, and we need to go five stitches forward. One, two, three, four, five. Take our foot off. That's my reverse button. You may have a lever here or a big lever here. We put our finger on the reverse button or we push down our lever and we put our foot back on our pedal and go backwards. So reversing, three, four, five stitches back. The reason we do that at the start of our stitching and at the end of our stitching is so that we secure the stitches and they don't come undone later. So off we go, keeping the edge of our foot on the edge of the fabric. We don't want to do this because we could get our fingers stuck under the needle. So we keep our hand at the base and if we need to move it around, we can do it this way with the bottom of our fabric. As we approach a pin, we stop and we take our pin out again so that we don't hurt our finger while we're still stitching. I'm going to go a little bit faster here for you just to keep this moving. And again, as I approach my pin, I remove my pin and then I continue sewing, making sure the edge of my foot is on the edge of my fabric. Going again. If I do wobble off the edge and go over here somewhere, the quickest way to return back is not to lift it up and move it over because then you'll have a gap in your stitching. It's to take this big wheel, wind it down so the needle goes in the hole, lift up your presser foot and move it back to where it needs to go and pop your presser foot back down again to start sewing. Stitching again, stopping at the pin and then we go down to the base of the stitching. We want to stop just before the bottom and we want to reverse again five stitches backwards, two, three, four, five, and then lift up our foot and off we go. Now at the side of your machine you should have a little blade inside a piece of plastic. If you pull your thread through it will snip that for you. Make sure you leave a little bit of a tail about 15 centimeters or six inches at the back so that when you start sewing again you'll have enough thread not to pull back through the needle. So there's our first sewing. Just enough distance from the edge and secure it at the top and secured at the bottom. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Happy sewing. Thanks so much for joining me on that tutorial. Look out for the next one where you'll learn how to turn corners.